You know what? If a dark-haired man marries a blonde-haired woman, but a blonde-haired man marries a dark-haired woman, that's still marriage. If a blue-eyed person marries a green-eyed person, it's still marriage. If a brown-eyed person marries another brown-eyed person, it's still marriage. Because if there is any existential requirement prerequisite to marriage, if there is an existential requirement to marriage by which we define marriage, and I find it interesting that the frothy mixture never mentions this one thing, maybe, just maybe, in the grand scheme of things, if indeed there is, in fact, a grand scheme of things, maybe, just maybe, the one real, honest, actual, no kidding, for true prerequisite to marriage is more simple than anyone can imagine. Maybe the prerequisite to marriage is but one thing. Perhaps what it takes to make a marriage is love. Now, I don't I don't I don't I don't subscribe to the frothy mixtures religion. I don't subscribe to his twisted understanding or or, or misapplication of universal truth. But his own holy book, by one of his own saints has this to say. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not love, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, not love, it profiteth me nothing. Love suffereth long, and is kind. Love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in, it, in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fall away. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, and love, these three. But the greatest of these... Is love. And yet never, never, ever, in all of his prattling and prating about paper towels and napkins and water and beer and marriage, never does the frothy mixture consider the power the transformative power, the earth-moving power, the life-saving power of love. For love he hath no word, for love he hath no time. And that should tell us, brothers and sisters, all we ever needed to know about Rick frothy mixture Santorum 
and those who sad, sorry, pathetic, hate-infested beings stand with him. For he has nothing. And his own book says so. If I have not love, I am as tinkling brass. Well, tinkle on, frothy mixture, brother frothy mixture. Bro, uh, the, the, uh, what, what did uh, our good friend Michael, otherwise known as Kid A, in the chat room just say? Uh, yeah, bro fro mix, bro fro mix, or just BFM. No, I like bro fro mix. Tinkle on, bro fro mix. Tinkle on. This is the horn. I'm Bob Kincaid.